The heaviest creature ever to have lived on Earth is the still-living and endangered blue whale. The all-time world heavyweight champion is the blue whale, which can weigh up to 2 lakh kilograms. But if we look only at the things on land, dinosaurs have to be given the honor of being the largest creatures in the history of the Earth. Dinosaurs were one of the most diverse creatures on our planet. From tiny dinosaurs that weighed a few kilograms and were the size of a baby chicken to giant dinosaurs that were bigger than a blue whale and weighed as much as 20 African elephants once lived on our Earth. Let's see which were the biggest dinosaurs. During the Jurassic period and the Cretaceous period, that is, from about 200 million years ago to 66 million years ago, a group of dinosaurs called sauropods lived on Earth. They were spread to all parts of the world. So today we have found their fossils from all the continents of the world including Antarctica. Sauropods were very different from other dinosaurs. They are herbivorous dinosaurs. Their necks are very long. In fact, sauropod dinosaurs have the longest necks ever seen in Earth's history. Giraffes are the longest-necked animals today. But even their necks are only up to 3 meters long. But the necks of some sauropods can exceed 10 meters in length. This long neck is a huge boon for them. It takes a lot of energy to move their huge bodies. But because of this long neck, they can stay in one place and eat all the vegetation around them. They can eat leaves at heights that other creatures cannot reach. Because of that, the competition for food will be less. Not only that, the long neck also helps in dissipating excess body heat. That is, like the big ears of elephants. Sauropods walked on four legs. Their head size is very small compared to their body size. Sauropods had much longer tails. This length of tail had many uses. These long tails help balance their body weight. This tail is very important to balance without falling, especially when reaching tall trees. The tail helps balance the body even when walking fast. They can also use this tail as a whip-like weapon to escape from enemies. That being said, don't assume that all sauropods were giant dinosaurs. There were also smaller species of sauropods. Magurosaurus, for example, this sauropod, which lived during the Cretaceous period, had a maximum length of 20 feet and a weight of up to 1,000 kilograms. Within the sauropod phylum Titanosauria are the largest dinosaurs. But this Magurosaurus also belongs to Titanosauria. Omdenosaurus is another sauropod that lived in the early Jurassic period from about 200 million years ago to 170 million years ago. It had a maximum length of 13 feet and a weight of only 250 kilograms. This dinosaur was only as tall as an average human. It is the smallest sauropod we have ever discovered. But which was the largest sauropod? Saltosaurus is a sauropod that lived in the late Cretaceous period. Its fossil was first found in Salta, Argentina, hence the name Saltosaurus. It had a maximum length of 42 feet and weighed up to 8,000 kilograms. That is twice the weight of an average Asian elephant. It was not easy for enemies to attack it because it had very thick outer skin full of large spines. Despite its size, Saltosaurus is considered the smallest dinosaur on the list of large sauropod dinosaurs. Going to the top of this list, we find a dinosaur named Diplodocus longus. As the name longus means long, these were very long dinosaurs. Over 100 fossils of Diplodocus have been found so far. Only six of them were Diplodocus longus. The largest fossil was 92 feet long. Its tail accounted for more than half of its length. The barbed tail alone is about 50 feet long. Diplodocus longus has the honor of being the longest-tailed creature ever to have lived on Earth. They weighed around 25,000 kilograms. Despite being such a large dinosaur, its brain weighed only 100 to 115 grams. Its head was also very small. The head can only be up to 40 centimeters long. Sauropoziodon protels was a giant sauropod that lived during the early Cretaceous period. The meaning of this name is a reptilian creature who is the god of earth-shaking. That's a really meaningful name for this dinosaur because this dinosaur was about 115 feet long and weighed over 70,000 kilograms. When this dinosaur walks, those standing nearby will surely feel its vibrations. Sauropoziodon is considered to be the tallest animal that ever lived. The main reason for this is that its neck alone was about 43 feet long. Not only that, its legs are also very long. The front leg is about 20 feet tall, which is three and a half times the height of an average human and that two only for its legs. It was about 65 feet tall in total. This dinosaur also had the longest legs in Earth's history. Notocolossus is another sauropod that lived in the late Cretaceous period. It is a dinosaur belonging to Titanosauria. Its fossils have been found in Argentina. Notocolossus has the largest humerus we have ever found. Humerus is the upper arm bone. The length of this bone was about 6 feet. 
This dinosaur also weighed more than 70,000 kilograms. They have very thick bark. It may have protected them from other dangerous dinosaurs as well as from the cold. Mammonchosaurus is a type of dinosaur found in China. They lived from about 160 million years ago to 112 million years ago. This dinosaur was about 115 feet long and weighed about 45,000 kilograms. In a study conducted by a group of researchers at Stony Brook University in the U.S., it was possible to understand that its neck would have been about 50 feet long. That's more than half the length of a large blue whale. If so, it would be the longest necked creature in Earth's history. An average Mammonchosaurus is about one and a half times the length of an average blue whale from head to tail. Supersaurus is a sauropod that lived in parts of North America about 140 million years ago. As the name suggests, this is a super dinosaur. Supersaurus weighed more than 40,000 kilograms and is considered the longest dinosaur ever discovered. This dinosaur was about 140 feet long. Although their body was so big, their head was only the size of a horse's head. This is the case with all sauropods, not just Supersaurus. If the head gets too big, their neck can't support it. This is why the heads of sauropods are small. Today's blue whales are the largest creatures Earth has ever seen by weight. But the position of the heaviest land animal definitely belongs to the dinosaurs. The sauropod Argentinosaurus is currently the heaviest terrestrial animal. As you might have guessed from its name, its fossil was found in Argentina. Argentinosaurus was a gigantic dinosaur that weighed between 90,000 kilograms and 125,000 kilograms. These dinosaurs were not only heavy but also incredibly long. They were about 130 feet in length. Argentinosaurus, which lived 9 million years ago, is currently the world heavyweight champion on land. However, despite the record of Argentinosaurus, some argue that there are other dinosaurs that are heavier and bigger, and one of them is Maripunosaurus. According to the information received, it weighed more than one and a half lakh kilograms. Not only the weight but also the length of these dinosaurs was substantial. It is said that its fossil found in North America was more than 190 feet long. If so, it is a much longer dinosaur than Supersaurus. Unfortunately, its fossil was lost in the 1870s and only parts of the study reports conducted during that period remain today. In terms of weight, Bruhafkaosaurus is considered by many to be the world heavyweight champion of all time. According to the most recent studies, Bruhafkaosaurus probably weighed between 120,000 and 170,000 kilograms and is believed to be over 150 feet long. Austropoziodon Austropoziodon dinosaurs were giant sauropod dinosaur of the Titanosauria clade. Austropoziodon lived during the late Cretaceous period, specifically between 70 and 66 million years ago. At that time, the region we now know as Brazil was quite different. It was part of Gondwana, a supercontinent that included South America, Africa, Antarctica, Australia, and India. The Presidente Prudent Formation in Brazil, where Austropoziodon fossils were discovered, suggests a habitat with diverse vegetation, rivers, and the presence of other fascinating prehistoric creatures. Austropoziodon was an enormous dinosaur, with estimates suggesting a length of around 82 feet or potentially even larger. And the height can probably be between 19 to 26 feet. Estimations suggest it could be around 50 tons. The dinosaur is even considered the largest dinosaur found in Brazil. Like many sauropods, Austropoziodon was likely a herbivore, relying on its long neck to reach and consume vegetation. The specimen of this titanosaur is displayed in the Earth Sciences Museum in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Alamosaurus Alamosaurus existed during the late Cretaceous period, precisely in the Campanian and Maastrichtian stages, dating back approximately 70 to 66 million years ago. Alamosaurus was a titanosaur, a gigantic plant-eating dinosaur. It belongs to the Titanosaur superfamily, which includes some of the largest land animals ever to have lived. As a sauropod, Alamosaurus was a strict herbivore, consuming vegetation such as ferns, conifers, and other prehistoric plants. Its dental structure and jaw mechanics were adapted for efficient plant processing. But like many birds, it likely also swallowed rocks to help mash the plants they ate. The skeletal structure of Alamosaurus indicates typical features of a sauropod, including a long neck, a robust body, and a lengthy tail. The neck, while facilitating access to high vegetation, also contributed to its overall balance. Its neck was a remarkable adaptation for reaching vegetation in treetops, possibly enabling it to exploit a diverse range of plant resources. 
The tail, often as long as its neck, served to balance its massive body. Alamosaurus was an extremely massive dinosaur which was approximately 70 feet long and weighed 35 to 40 tons, with its long neck about a third the length of its entire body. Fossils of Alamosaurus have been primarily found in the southwestern United States and parts of Mexico, indicating its presence in the region during the late Cretaceous period. Rapidosaurus Rapidosaurus was a sauropod dinosaur that lived on the island of Madagascar 70 million years ago. Rapidosaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period, specifically in the Campanian to Maastrichtian stages. During its existence, Madagascar was part of the supercontinent Gondwana. The climate during Rapidosaurus' time in Madagascar was likely warm and tropical, with lush vegetation covering the landscape. Sauropods like Rapidosaurus are believed to have lived in herds for protection against predators. As a sauropod, Rapidosaurus was likely a herbivore, using its long neck to reach vegetation high above the ground. Its teeth were adapted for stripping leaves and soft vegetation. In the late Cretaceous of Madagascar, theropods like Majungasaurus were present. Majungasaurus is known to have coexisted with Rapidosaurus, and although Majungasaurus might not have been large enough to take down an adult Rapidosaurus, it could have posed a threat to juvenile or weakened individuals. Rapidosaurus was estimated to be around 50 to 60 feet long. That's roughly equivalent to the length of two school buses parked end to end. Some estimates suggest that Rapidosaurus could have weighed anywhere from 7 to 10 tons. This is roughly equivalent to the weight of a few small elephants. Determining the exact height of Rapidosaurus from the ground to the top of its head is challenging due to incomplete fossil evidence and variations in posture. However, based on scientific estimates and comparisons with other sauropod dinosaurs, it's likely that Rapidosaurus stood several meters tall. Rapidosaurus fossils were discovered in the Mavarano Formation in Madagascar in 2001. These fossils have provided valuable insights into the late Cretaceous period and the dinosaurs that inhabited that region. Apatosaurus Apatosaurus is a sauropod dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, which spanned from approximately 163 to 145 million years ago. This era was part of the Mesozoic era, often referred to as the Age of Dinosaurs. Apatosaurus was a herbivore with a diet consisting mainly of ferns, conifers, and other vegetation. Apatosaurus was like a giant, friendly herbivore. It didn't hunt other animals. Instead, it spent its time peacefully eating plants. Its long neck allowed it to reach high branches and leaves, while its peg-like teeth were adapted for stripping vegetation. Apatosaurus walked on all fours, using its strong legs for slow and steady movements. It wasn't a speedy dinosaur, more of a leisurely stroller. While not confirmed, some scientists think Apatosaurus might have lived in groups or herds. Being together could help them protect each other and find food more easily. They were one of the biggest land animals ever, with really huge dimensions. It was about 70 feet long, weighed between 30 to 36 tons, and stood impressively tall at 15 feet. Despite its massive body, Apatosaurus had a small head, like a little horse. But it had long, peg-shaped teeth to eat plants. Apatosaurus lived in a part of North America that we now call the Western United States. Fossil evidence suggests that it roamed areas in states like Colorado, Oklahoma, Utah, and Wyoming. Brachiosaurus The Brachiosaurus, with its long neck and tail, wasn't the biggest dinosaur ever, but it's still super popular in history, hanging out with other famous dinosaurs like Diplodocus and Apatosaurus. Brachiosaurus inhabited the Earth during the late Jurassic period which spanned approximately from 154 to 145 million years ago. This period is characterized by diverse ecosystems and the emergence of various iconic dinosaur species. During the late Jurassic, the global climate was generally warm, and the continents were arranged differently than they are today. The environments Brachiosaurus inhabited were marked by lush vegetation, expansive river systems, and diverse flora and fauna. These landscapes provided the ideal conditions for a large herbivore like Brachiosaurus to thrive. Brachiosaurus shared its temporal landscape with other renowned dinosaurs like Stegosaurus and Allosaurus. Brachiosaurus was one of the tallest dinosaurs. Its name, Brachiosaurus, a means arm lizard or in Latin because of its long front legs. Brachiosaurus was a herbivorous dinosaur, meaning it primarily consumed plant-based foods. One of the most distinctive features of Brachiosaurus was its exceptionally long neck. This adaptation allowed it to engage in high browsing, reaching vegetation in the upper canopy of trees that might have been inaccessible to other herbivores. Despite its giant size, Brachiosaurus wasn't a speedster. 
It moved at a slow and steady pace, probably enjoying the scenery and the tasty leaves it could reach with its long neck. Some hypotheses suggest that Brachiosaurus might have engaged in seasonal migrations to follow the availability of food resources. This behavior would have been influenced by the changing seasons and the need to find suitable feeding grounds, ensuring a consistent food supply for these massive herbivores. The structure of Brachiosaurus front limbs suggests a certain degree of grasping capability. It could use its prehensile front limbs to gather and manipulate vegetation, allowing for a more selective feeding strategy. This adaptation might have contributed to its ability to target specific plant parts. Given the size of the plants it consumed, Brachiosaurus likely had a specialized swallowing mechanism to process large quantities of plant material. Its throat and digestive system would have been adapted to handle the challenges posed by the consumption of fibrous vegetation. While its massive size was likely a deterrent for many predators, Brachiosaurus might have employed certain defense mechanisms. Rapid tail movements or coordinated group behaviors could have been used to deter or fend off potential threats. Brachiosaurus lived alongside several large theropod dinosaurs, including Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus. These predators, with sharp teeth and claws, were likely capable of taking down even the largest herbivores. However, attacking a fully grown and towering Brachiosaurus would have been a challenging task. Allosaurus, a formidable predator of the late Jurassic, coexisted with Brachiosaurus. Allosaurus was a large theropod known for its hunting prowess. While it might have targeted younger or more vulnerable Brachiosaurus individuals, the giant size of adults would have made them less appealing targets. Interspecific competition, especially during times of food scarcity, could have influenced the survival and behavior of Brachiosaurus. They were could reach more than 75 feet in length and weighed up to 80 tons. It stood about 40 feet tall from its head to the ground. Scientists have found Brachiosaurus fossils in different parts of the world from North America to Africa, indicating a broad geographical distribution. Notable findings include sites in North America, especially in regions like Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming. Parali Titan Parali Titan was a massive dinosaur that wandered the Earth during the late Cretaceous period. It earned the nickname Tidal Giant because it was discovered near the ocean in Egypt. This dinosaur lived specifically during the Cenomanian to Turonian stages, which happened around 94 to 98 million years ago. The Bahariya Oasis region, part of the western desert of Egypt, was its home. Estimates suggest that Parali Titan stood around 26 to 33 feet tall. It was huge, reaching lengths of up to 85 feet and weighing about 59 tons, equivalent to having 12 adult elephants combined into one dinosaur. This made it one of the heavyweight champions of the dinosaur world. Its size was comparable to some of the largest known dinosaurs, such as Argentinosaurus. Like other sauropods, Parali Titan was a plant eater, consuming vast amounts of vegetation to sustain its massive body. It's possible that they lived in groups with other dinosaurs, which might have provided protection against predators and facilitated care for their young. Parali Titan preferred to inhabit areas near water, such as rivers, lakes, or swamps. These environments likely provided abundant food sources and easy access to water. Living near water was crucial for Parali, Titan's survival, as it needed ample plant food to maintain its size and strength. The discovery of Parali Titan fossils in the Bahariya Oasis region of Egypt in 2000, led by Joshua Smith from the University of Pennsylvania, has provided valuable insights into dinosaur life, particularly in regions like Africa and the Middle East where fossil finds are scarce. The presence of Parali Titan in Egypt indicates that large herbivorous dinosaurs thrived in diverse locations worldwide during the late Cretaceous period. The mass extinction event, known as the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction Event, occurred around 66 million years ago. This event led to the extinction of approximately 75% of Earth's species, including non-avian dinosaurs. Patagotitan and its contemporaries were long gone by the time this catastrophic event took place. The late Cretaceous period ended with the extinction of the dinosaurs, and the subsequent era, the Cenozoic, saw the rise of mammals, marking the beginning of a new chapter in Earth's biological history. That's another story. There are opposing opinions about all the dinosaurs mentioned earlier. This is because none of the fossils of these dinosaurs were complete. Therefore, it is not possible to determine their size and length with 100% accuracy. Feel free to leave a comment sharing your thoughts on prehistoric sauropods. See you again in a new video.